I guess to be fair, on this video I'll be trying out Dungeons 4. Alright, let's get campaign. The Last Stand. Tanya set about destroying the last remaining heroes. Amongst others, her stepbrother Tristan. Okay, let's go. Once upon a time, long, long ago in... Hell, well, you know the rest. The absolute evil had, in the fabulous predecessor to this game, taken over the entire overworld with its creatures. Now it spent its time on debauched parties and... Wait a minute. The entire overworld? No! One small village of indomitable heroes still held out against the invaders. The unamused evil was beside itself with rage. But all this was about to change once and for all, because the remote control evil sent its most vicious general into the field. The Dark Elf Talia. Talia, also known from the fabulous predecessor, came back from her vacation in a thoroughly good mood. Before that, she had defeated her foster father, the paladin Thanos. This fact is important to note. For this last remaining village of heroes was protected by none other than Tristan, foster son of Thanos and Talia's stepbrother. This proud warrior in shining, his handsome heroic chest accentuating armor was the last glimmer of hope for the forces of good. Talia, who had fully embraced the dark side, couldn't wait to really kick her stepbrother's ass. And so our story begins. The last defenders of good were fighting for their survival. This seemed to be the perfect time for Tristan to make his appearance. The last mighty hero of the good races. My brothers, in your eyes I see the same fear that would lead me to despair. The day may come when the courage of true heroes is extinguished. When we abandon our companions and all bonds of friendship are broken. But that day is still far off. Stand fast, heroes of the West! And with those familiar sounding words, Tristan charged into battle to the cheers of his men. The heroes of good had managed to capture some of the evil creatures. Nevertheless, it was more than questionable whether a few minor victories and a brilliant speech could do anything against the absolute evil's armies. A storm of darkness and gloom descended, heralding the arrival of Talia, the absolute evil's general. This entrance not only panicked the defenders of good, but also seemed to strengthen the creatures of evil. a little hero boat. Forward, creatures! Show me what you can do! Punch them smack dab in the mouth! Smash them in the face! Oh, and just as a precaution, get me my handbook of worn-out third-rate catchphrases. <laughs> ah, if my eyes don't deceive me, that's my stupid stepbrother Tristan over there, too. Just waiting for me to lovingly put his head on a spear. <laughs> Today is gonna be a good day. Talia seemed to be very sure of victory. Some might find this puzzling, as it was the beginning of a long new campaign. But okay, maybe the rest of the missions are nothing but a string of debauched victory celebrations, who knows? Alright, WSAD key to move around. Left mouse select and right mouse button give command. Fortunately, Tanya's instincts took over at this point, something which wannabe pro gamers often refer to as auto-attack. Tanya also remembered that she had a few skills that she could invoke whenever she felt like it. Oh, right! Boom! That's how it's done! <laughs> Talia's mighty storm once again stood at her disposal. 
Once again, Tanya's fury descended to the black. Asta, la vista, hero boy. Let's get this tutorial done. Should have used that in a big group. Let's free my little minions. A cage was destroyed and creatures were freed. Tanya had freed all the creatures. Not to be outdone by her stepbrother, she too gave a brilliant speech. Speech? Did anything down here? Sure. Hmm. Yes. It's fenced off. Yeah, it is. That's where we are. That's where we need to go. I can heal them. Anyone? No, we're all healed. Select them for different skills. Let's go. a lot saving them the army's growing bigger right, can I do these I'm going to do it automatically I think it helps okay mostly had reached the center of battle. With another brilliant speech, she goaded her creatures on one more time. Another speech? More stronger? Honestly, I don't know if I can work with you like this. <clears throat> After Tanya's words, the creatures surged forward and flocked to their... Took them out quick. I would like to, but the defenses on the left and right flanks made progress impossible. Tanya had to destroy them in order to receive further support. Set her siege engines out. Concentrate fire. In fact, let's take out all the minions first. Try and keep a bigger army as possible. Collapsed on the right flank. The monstrous evil's creatures blocked to Talia. Excellent. I can always use more cannon fodder. I, I mean, um, loyal subordinates. <laughs> but Tanya on one. Ooh. Big light. Big guys coming. Then the whole group on two. Free these up. Let's go and free the other side. Got rid of that. Everyone sealed up apart from him. In fact, let's click on. Can I do that? The heroes left defensive. Fire demon now. Around the back. Right, does that do anything? Ok. 
Okay, I'm joining up. Let's head north. I'll group him up first. And take out a barricade. Everyone's healed. Your tentacles. Wipe them out. Deserved what he got, and I thought to myself, hmm, hey, like father, like son. You will pay for your deed, sister. The light will protect me. I won't. Let's make this troop stronger. Oh, he's a bit powerful. Taking a bit of damage. Tristan was bathed in a golden light that oh, seemed to protect him. As if that were not troublesome enough, a number of men... Ha, as if this wasn't dragging on way too long already. Close those portals or not? Jump straight to the point. My brothers, in your eyes... Go, go, go. Oh, didn't you spout that same bullshit earlier? In exactly the same words. No, not at all. I am no... I can take the portals out. Speeches. I seem to remember that whenever you were supposed to speak in front of the class, you right, lads. There's one down. Tentacles. What? Well, one shot of them. Pop, set this portal down. I have to click exactly on the ground where it is. I was clicking in the middle, it didn't work. You have lost a creature forever. Ooh, that's not good. There's two down, one to go. And another one for the green reaper. Cut his power shield off. All the magical portals have been destroyed, and with them, Tristan's shield went up in smoke. <laughs> That's the way I like it. Now, where were we? I'm not sure if that's so now where you're about to hit. Yeah, it is. Ooh, that's nasty. Okay, it's got mechanics. Okay, move to the side. Everyone, move to the side. Attack! Sister, it doesn't have to end this way. Join me. Together we can still save the world. Oh, can't you just die and spare us all the embarrassing melodrama? You have lost guys are healing them. I think you are, yeah. Oh, you got whooped. Tristan quickly created a portal and threw himself through it with the last of his strength. The portal closed again behind him. Treachery! Fraud! Cheater! This was supposed to be my victory! And what the hell kind of glove is that anyway? Looks to me like game design forgot to balance the thing properly. Maybe the people in charge were still too captivated by your great speech. It brought tears to my eyes too. However, not of emotion. <laughs> As if the bird brains these evil creatures have needed grand speeches. A few skulls to bash in, and the social calendar for the evening is filled. Well, each to their own. <clears throat> but apparently, Tristan had suffered a mishap as the aforementioned magic glove still lay in the place where it was last used. It would seem that he had accidentally lost it. <laughs> Wonderful. This thing is just what I need. Tray chic. I'll um, just grab that right away. And so our story begins. Infinity Gauntlet. <laughs> 
I guess I did it all. I kicked bottom. That's a tutorial. Just the gauntlet of Finitude, a fabled artifact. Unfortunately, UI overlays don't work in cutscenes, so Tanya couldn't read just exactly what the glove did. Nevertheless, she proudly presented it to the absolute evil in its form as the Dungeon Lord. And so misfortune took its course, because at the same time, Talia wanted to demonstrate how loudly she could snap her fingers. But this snap, which would go down in the history books as the Dungeon Lord snap, unleashed horrific forces that were discharged into the Dungeon Lord himself. Tanya rose to her feet, the gauntlet had disappeared, and the Dungeon Lord lay dying. Viewers often began to cry at this point, because it made them think back to the last really good superhero movie. Tanya mourned for about five seconds. Talia had shattered the realms of good and served them onto the absolute evil on a silver platter while it had actually done nothing at all. So Talia now became the absolute ruler. She had no clue about how to rule, but more than made up for it with hubris and consistently ignoring glaring problems. In addition, she surrounded herself with a staff of incompetent advisors. What could possibly go wrong? Ten minutes later, Tristan had captured Tanya, locked her in a cage, and put the armies of absolute evil to flight. And so the story ends. We'll tell you how the story continues in overpriced microtransaction bites. Oh, wait, wait, wrong script. That's a different developer. Hang in there, I've almost got it. While Tanya was ignominiously taken away, the unused essence of absolute evil continued to float through the ether. It wasn't about to admit defeat that easily, but for evil to triumph once again, it needed Tanya back, for better or for worse. And so the swirling essence of absolute evil set about commanding the perplexed-looking chaotic hordes and freeing Tanya. Hammer Time, Round 2. The essence of absolute evil held the horde together and rose to the challenge of vicious dwarven engineering. Let's play. Tristan! Let me out of this damned cage, you stupid little good elf. Otherwise, I'll have a hard time wringing your scrawny neck. What the hell do you want from me anyway? Talia, stepsister, your deplorable deeds must not go unpunished. You have slain our foster father, Thanos, a blasphemous affront to our goddess, whom you, to top all off, have also slain. But we will have plenty of time to argue on our journey. I am here for the stone. Brynhild, if you please. You know you can, you little cutie. Oi! Who oh, aren't you lazy not? Get that destroyer of worlds class hammer going! Tanya had been captured. Only the bubbling around the place essence of absolute evil could save her. It was amusing to leave Talia in the clutches of her brother. But on the other hand, without her help, the shapeless evil would probably just roam the countryside as a disembodied something or other, and at best be hired for third-rate horror movies. Fortunately, a forgotten dungeon heart lying in the underground could quickly be reactivated. Together with the creatures of the Horde, it would be easy to smash the do-gooder heroes there to smithereens. The wafting evil had to get rid of that dwarven contraption on the overworld as it posed a threat to the underground, and with it, the dungeon heart. It was therefore necessary to build a mighty dungeon, or rather, to have one built, because as a wafting essence, the disembodied evil could not do much itself. Build a treasury. 
so I normally do it. Some little snots. It's got to dig that out, excavate it, and that'll be my treasury room. It's like gold vein, yep. That's where I get all my money from. Pick more up. Go on, get down there. Give me a hit. Give me a slap, work faster. All of your work faster. Looks like the map from above and the map below ground. Lots of gold. Almost done. Alright, research dungeon level one. Research and go treasury. That's room construction. Build treasury, 15 gold per tile. Okay. Add some treasury, put them gold in. Treasury. The meagre amount that could be stored in the throne room was simply not even close to enough for a proper gold barn. Alright, let's channel this out. Let's just to build a gobbler farm next, 5x5, five five, and then build a hideout 6x6. Six six. Then create four characters, four creatures. a lot of snots excavated the area. I need to enlarge that later. Almost done. Alright. Research Gobbler Farm. Let's build that. Not some food. The gluttony loving evil had built a gobbler farm. Here, delicious gobblers were raised to serve as food for the horde. Stick that out. It's a bit of a hideout. Need to extend that sideways. But let's do it now. So my max gold, I can have three thousand at the moment. Thousand now. Come on, you lot work faster. Don't like that though. Don't like being slapped. Payday. Creatures are collecting their pay. Don't rob me. I want wages. Research board hideout construct hideout. Go that up. Oh, 
esto. Population. The sheltering evil had built a hive. Okay. Let's build some minions. The army raising evil had recruited its first creature. A bit underwhelming, considering that it was sitting on the throne of the gods a short time ago. But fresh starts are never easy. The evilest evil Three. could you... Slap some snots. That I can do. The attitude adjusting evil. The detest, however, first... <laughs> Building, I suppose, beds for the army I've got. I'm not my creatures, I'll work it out as I go. dungeon games I've played. Vault of Evilness, at least 6x6. Six six. Little Snots, Vaults of Evil, let's research it. Let's channel that out. Take my base. You lot work faster. Excess gold and put it in there, which is a bit full. I have to make it even more bigger. I'm up to 4,500 now. Alright, now construct. Stores my evilness. built a vault of evilness. This allowed it to henceforth store evilness and use it. And Oi! No need to sit around there, please. When we can be picking up a little gold or twelve here, eh? On you go, lads. Grab the nearest gold vein. Sooner or later, the greedy dwarves would dig their way into the dungeon. So come in. The Let's channel some more stuff out. Fat. Technological progress. I've got more room to build more stuff. Workshop. Just channel this out. Took a while to get here. Ding dong, it's payday. To me, Evo. Have two more of them. Build a long corridor. So I can go off to the sides. 
We're getting there slowly. So to put it there. It's already channeled out for me. Oi! How long is this stone thing going to take, lads? Snookums and I were planning on dying of old age here. The hard work allowing evil had built a dangerous cave. Here, little snots could use the work units to make toolboxes, which were needed for the more extravagant dungeon accoutrements. Get that. Right, build a spike trap. Trap. Building toolboxes. Trap. Uh, small spike trap. Spike trap. Okay, let's put it there. So then, I can do acid as well, slime. Research dungeon level three. The work for. Right, come on. I need some snots building that. Get on working. I'll be raking through soon. I think I need to build more of those. I was doing one. That's going to be close. The cunning evil had placed the first traps. This would make it much harder for the greedy dwarves to steal the gold. Here come. Get stabbed. Where's my army? Come. Had opened a passage into the dungeon. The little snots immediately executed Order 67 as they well, got to upgrade that. That's what I. In such a case, which meant come. that they ran through the dungeon with their arms flapping wildly. At the same time, they opened the secret trap cache so that the tricky came a give the dwarves a very warm welcome. A hero had died in one of the cruel evil's traps. Guys are doing them. Killed his goat. <laughs> I need more creatures. Did you little honey buns forget your little baby bottles? Or how did you manage to lose to a bunch of lousy orcs? Traps. Destroy Dwarven Great Hall. Obviously, the danger from the dwarves had not yet been neutralized. Luckily, the little snots had made a few traps in their spare time, and they were only too happy to make available to the all-consuming evil. Right, that's going okay. I've got some boxes now to build stuff. Right, the gnomes are being built. Oh, tra loads of traps. How much damage do they do? S slows it down. Dwarves continue to spread throughout the underground. 
The little snot's trap glittered and gleamed. Soon, gold-hungry dwarves would be biting their teeth out on it as they unknowingly fast-tracked for a quick demise. Okay, I'll hammer and want to get down here. Well, that's okay for my heart, so I don't think I should build traps down here. Up here's the main part. There's a dwarf main hall. Oh, there's loads of stuff. We're coming again. What's names do? Blow bombs. I think I might go for bigger base, you know. Let's hollow that out. I'm going to run out of gold soon. But let's make it not so big. There should be three more. Ooh, saw trap. Another saw trap was mounted halfway up to be even more effective against dwarves. Spike. What's this one doing? V thresher. Spin round. Bit there. Mm, let's do it there. Yeah, spin round. Took out one hero. It also provided any and all surrounding heroes with some nutritious cauliflower at the same time. Cauliflower ears, that is. How does this thing work? Right, let's stick with what I know. Let's put a thresher there. Sawmill there. Need one more trap. Overcoming. That same in work action. Oh, that's a bit of a rubbish place, to be honest. That's a better one. Saw traps blades whirred along the wall, just uh, waiting for bread to spice or heroes, whichever thing. Getting spiked. Spiked again, one down. Oh, you got it. it's getting armored there. Uh, okay, my base is pretty secure now. Alright, can I. I don't want to demolish it really. Let's move it. Okay, demolish it. Let's build my horde. Creatures are collecting their pay. Build that bigger. Because we're gonna go on attack. What gobbos do? I'll research it. Oh, I think I can research it again. It takes gold and evil essence. Uh, go for doors. What's that? Better traps. Getting in. Silver so buildings I can build. A lot of saw traps. Pusher. Oh, I know what it is. Mm. 
Your little snots are completely Let's put one there. Uh, that'll push it into that, hopefully. Another saw. Another saw. I should finish him off before we can get in there. Ooh, gold's a bit low, isn't it? Right, let's get my army together. And put that on. Control 2. Just drop them all off. Okay, so, so that's picking them up. Let's drop them off there. Hope this doesn't go horribly wrong. Counter attack. Oh, yes. Back my way in. Where are you lot going? All up again. Let's get a bedroom. Or oh, does he have to break his way in? It's got flamethrowers. Defend the dungeon heart. Hey. Eh? Oh crap! He's coming in. How the hell did he get in? Sneaky get. Does it start fighting? On him. It's still more gold to run out. Snots. He's got bombs ready. Oh, which way? Dead end. Let's knock on the door. It's bombardier. I'll get him to go into it. It's been a while since I played. Okay, pick up all units. Drop them there. Fine. Payday. Uh oh, I can't pay me if I've got no gold. Oh, the enemy are coming. Of a die. Two left. Can destroy the door. How oh, rude. It builds it back up automatically. Good. Again, let's attack that door. Getting wrecked, mate. Attack going for the heart. 
Always a bit low. Let's put Amber in the back. Always getting a bit hammered as well, put him at the back. Attacking the heart. I think once that gets destroyed, I win. Push the talk button. Cancelled the tutorial short. It skips it every time I press it, but I've had to change it. I might have missed a few things. Porting in more guys. It's a heart's health bar. The dwarves were defeated for the time being. Got whooped. Satisfied, the essence of absolute evil rubbed something together that could perhaps pass for two hands together. The all destroying evil had conquered the exit. This left the way to the surface open for its troops. The absolute evil's side blinked a little as they stepped into the glaring light of the sun. Finally, they could lay waste not only to the boring corridors of the dungeon, but also to the lush green meadows of the overworld. There we go, fellas. We're attacking the surface now. Camp down. And go back and have a rest. Or I can rescue my mates. Camp outside my base. heroes ran away crying and tried to entrench themselves behind even higher walls. I'm home. A good campaign guys, you can have a rest. Alright, let's have a snot. Where are my little snots? Can I open that and let them through? I think they're up oh, locked. Your right mouse button locks and unlocks. I think my essence is full. It's maximum evil. Let's see how it works on this. We're having second thoughts on that. Good, uh, get me gold. Got health down quite a lot. Pick them all up. Drop them all in. Attack from behind. Get me in traps, don't kill me. Gotta go all the way around there. Let's build more evil essence. Gold's a bit low. Oh, let's go for that. Oh yeah. Let's get the gold vein. Might as well get all the gold. Be 
Okay, it's nice and symmetrical. Let my guys down. More guys are coming. Let's have them fighting. I'll wait until I get in here. Coming from behind. Attack! Him off. Finally, we're building those traps. Alright. I think the diamond veins last forever. Well, I may as well expand stand that and get some more gold. Break that wall yet. Leave that one solid. Right. Let's build. Let's put a door. I've just gonna break it constantly. layer there. I'm going to walk this way. Let's build more space. The army? Okay, let's try that. The wheel of death stood ready. The little snot inside kept a watchful eye out for arriving heroes. Let's see if that work. Your little snot is going to go in now. Oh, that might be good. Oh, that is quite good. Oh, yeah, let's, let's keep that. Is it going to rebuild it, though? like a charger. Drop him in. Just waiting for a bit more gold and I'll go above. Payday. Creatures are collecting their pay. Let's build my essence vault up. Hamster wheels are starting up. Oh, that's a trigger area. Oh. Oh. Can I put him back in? How do I adjust the trigger? Who's coming? I kind of balls that up. I suppose that's a maximum range. Once I get there. Yep. Oh, that's quite good, that is. I'm going to get armoured. Alright, I don't have to worry about armour anymore. Oh, more gold. Let's get it all. Okay, time to attack the surface. first. Actually it's the main encampment I think. Yeah this is where I'm coming from. Oh 
Go on, kick some ass. I think I've got a new spell shirt because my main character's still captured. Go game. Can we kill kill a villager. Convert to mine. I can rescue some guys. And that's destroyed, it will be converted to mine. The vile evil had destroyed another of the heroes' camps. Screaming at the top of their voices, the survivors took to their heels. Let's carry on. Anybody to rescue here? Out of ten. Just drive the cages. Now, will it give me extra units? and creatures were free. It's payday. Didn't add any extra on. Right, where should we go now? Oi! I have to protect the blueprints, Nukems. Otherwise, the orcs will eventually end up building some attack. I've got overwhelming numbers. I did wait a bit long, but I didn't want to lose. on making myself a tea set out of dwarf skulls. Talia, your evilness truly knows no bounds. These dwarves are part of the Alliance of Good. You were also once part of that alliance. I'm going to bring them back here and I'll attack these and lip free these. No gobbler behind. I think they're doing a counter attack. Let's release these. Will they get to me? Hopefully. Attack! Sneaking in. Enemies are in the dungeon. That's the main army, I think. Let's go in behind them. Where are we going? Oh, they don't look too big. I think that's my main attack force. Let's see how traps get on. Might not even have to use my army. Yeah, the hamster wheel doesn't look like it resets. One's ready to get on. I'll give my guys a rest. Killed all these, and I've got warped. Right, you lot have a rest. The gold's nice, the barracks is nice. 
We're still getting gold from her. Alright, let's see what we can research. Go to level 2. Level 3. Do any more traps? I've used my gold up. Those unlock on later levels. Got plenty of food. Right there already. No room, I need to extend it. Got 11 out of 10. Let's have this go in here a bit. Let's straighten that off. Maybe turn this into a different room. room from enemies have entered the dungeon it's a message it says he's died yes I need to go all of it's gone into that at the moment Slow gold. I killed them all. I think it's time to attack. Let's get to the gateway. Outside, lads. Finish him off. Push. the hammer. Oh my guys getting a bit demoralised. I haven't got enough gold to get paid. Came out first. Gate. The path to the dwarves' oversized hammer lay open. The trembling heroes prepared themselves Let's free some captives. Oh, go in. Have destroyed a cage. The bombardiers. Oh, they didn't last long. Flame throws are pretty hard. One of your 
Oh. Still got seven. Do anything for killing sheep? Just be evil. Alright. Is that all of them? Anything down the sides? That evilness is awesome. Repelled it. Could have done it quicker. I wanted to win. The dwarven equipment spectacularly went up in flames, which was rather odd, as the creatures had only been hitting the thing with their weapons. But fine, perhaps horde weapons were made of flint. Yet the distraction provided by the dwarven intervention had shifted the destruction-loving evil's focus long enough for Talia and her stepbrother Tristan to disappear into the distance. With an imaginary sigh, the staggering evil took one last look around before setting off in pursuit. The path led to the Hellwoods, an eerie place claimed by the demonic creatures of the underworld. <laughs> Did all the objectives. I should hope so. I took long enough. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Click the bell notifications and all to get notified when you upload the next episode. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you join me next time. Goodbye. ...lands by her stepbrother Tristan. They pass through the Hellwoods, a hotbed of demons. You get your demons unlocked.